Hello, welcome to sampling. This is David from Soul Sound Audio. We're going to sample in Logic Pro today. We're going to use the EXS24 instrument. So let's get going. All right, let's create an audio track. Um, let's bring in bring in our first sample. There it is. Um, we can hit W to bring up the wave editor. Check out where the transients are at. Looks pretty okay to me. All right, and we're going to hit Control E to bring up Convert to New Sampler Track. Okay, ready? Make sure it's selected. Control E. We're going to go from transient markers, starting at C1. Call it what you want. One shot zones means when you trigger it, it'll play all the way through instead of being able to trigger release and play just parts of the sample. So we're going to leave it right there. All right, here we are. So it gives us uh, a sample for each transient. Here it's on the 16th note. All right, we can play it. We can slow it down, speed up. That's kind of what, what's happening when you use slicing to speed stuff up and slow stuff down. Um, so we've got our all right so we can create a little beat here in fact let's let's change the tempo let's change the tempo so we're creating something different than what the original thing was Now, also, if you want to do something different, you can create, like, let's take one of these and pitch it down, put it in reverse, all right, so we're going to do something different, we're going to create We're going to create another track with the same instrument. Alright. There we go. Alright, and then we can just grab another sample. Uh, let's check out where these transients are at because it's not a very transient thing. So it looks like, in fact, let's just mute that region. All right, that's way too many. We just want each chord. So sometimes what you got to do, well, we can also do it like this. So forget the transients. Let's go and just chop it. Chop it where the chords are at. Then what we're going to do is Control E, go by regions. All right. So I think the tempo shift is messing with it a little bit. That's probably what's happening. All right, here we go. All right. Here we go. So So there you go. That's uh, sampling. And of course, we can go in 
And if we want to change some of these, we could, for example, copy this one. Option or um, Command C, Command V. All right, and then we can we can create our own thing here. So now, let's go ahead and create a new track with the same instrument, and then we can just add this little walk-up thing. Pretty cool. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you learned something. Have some fun with this. Uh, the possibilities are endless. Take care. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>